Hi friends! We're at third tries a charm with this video. Um, <laughs> we're here to talk about something slightly different, but also the same. So writing influence, only ones that use lead, graphite, something, uh, to make their marks. So um, I've actually been working on some sewing relating related things, so I've been using my pencils more, and it made me think that I should make this video. So here we go. Um, let's start off. Let's clear our slate. Um, we're gonna start off with these. These all hold two millimeter lead. I'm using the term lead, I know it's not actually lead, it's graphite. So here's two millimeter lead. It's chunky. I love it. Maybe I love it aesthetically more than anything else. Um, so I have three different devices that hold this lead. My favorite is probably this one by uh, Statler. Statler. Um, it's like a, I think they call these clutch pencils, but you you push this down and it releases its hold on the lead, which can like extend for as much length as you want. That's great if you are doing arty things and you want like really big swaths of graphite. Um, I rarely do. Uh, this has a built-in sharpener here. I don't actually think this sharpener works particularly well. If I'm honest, so you extend that, put this on here, twist, twist, twist. I'm not gonna do that too much because then the graphite builds up in there, et cetera, et cetera. Then if I wanna retract, I just push that in and then I can retract as much or as little as I want. This one looks similar. I thought this was the same, but it's funny is I don't see a brand on it. It's actually more like a regular mechanical pencil. So you just push that and it extends it. That's why I don't like it as much. This one I backed on Kickstarter because I thought it just looked really cool. So <laughs> that's what you should base your writing implements on. So this is like, if I remember right, this is airplane aluminum. And in order to extract the lead, you just pinch right here so that it loosens its grip. Note, I think I pin I do it wrong. I'll assume it's because I'm left-handed. It's not. But um, that's how this works. And this is a dedicated sharpener for this style of graphite. So You just put that in there and you twist to sharpen. I like this a lot. This is my preferred method. And it's um, really nice to hold. It's got a little divot here so you can you can hold on to it easily. Um, so there are these. Uh, I really like these for just general writing. I don't do much writing in pencil. But um, for sewing, I sometimes will, for sewing, for labeling my pieces. So right now I'm making a trench coat, right? And I might just write on it, trench size 40, right? Like left front. For the record, that's not a real thing. But, but it's nice and dark and it's big and it doesn't need to be precise, which is important for this because this point will dull fairly quickly because it's large. Um, I These are HB. I Honestly, I prefer 2B. I like dark lines, um, but that would dull even more quickly. So this is a nice um, compromise. Also, I got these for free with this thing. It's the same brand. So this is uh, Pen XO. 
So that those are two millimeter lead. Then we lead. Then we come on to um mechanical pencils. I'm which I suppose those are too, but thinner leads. Normal. Normal. Um I'm going to divide these into two categories also. So these are two of almost the same pencil. <laughs> these are both by Uni or Uni, the Kurutoga. Um, I've been I've been using I this 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 bluey teal one. I I love the color of it. That's part of why I got it. It's also got this little like rubbery thing here. Both of them do at the grip, which is nice. You can hold on to it well. I mean, these I uh, oh I'll I'll go back to this. I do love the knurling that's on here. That's pleasing to me. But um, I love these pencils so much. You can see they have little um, erasers up top that are small. Both of them have that. They work as you'd expect. You push on the top part and the let. Oh, I have to replace the lead in this. The lead comes out. You can retract it by holding that in and pushing it in. The cool thing about this pencil is that um, so these were, I think, mentioned in an over-engineered pencils video by Jet Pence because they kind of are, but they're amazing. So something that anybody who's used a pencil will know is as you write with it, it gets a point on it, right? So the, the, the side that you're writing with becomes broader. What this pencil does is as you write, as you make marks, it rotates this lead for you such that with the goal that you will always have a pointy part on the paper. Um, I think it does work. It does depend on how you're using the pencil though. So for my sewing stuff, what I might end up doing is tracing a long line, for instance. It doesn't rotate in that case. I have found that if I'm writing in cursive and I'm writing one really long thing, it doesn't rotate. But if I was writing something more like Japanese writing, right? So a bunch of short marks, or if I'm printing, it works really well. Um, I wrote this incorrectly, but that also says Maria. So I really like these pencils quite a lot. Um, I've been using them today because I'm tracing a sewing pattern and it's really nice to have, um, a nice pencil to do that with. And in them, I'm pretty sure I'm using this Pentel HB 0.5 lead, but it might be this Tumble Monograph 0.5. I'm not sure, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not a snob about my lead, although I kind of am, it turns out, we'll get to that. So anyway, I think if I was gonna have only one mechanical pencil, it would probably be this. I haven't examined all of them, but I love it. Um, how do we refill these? Yeah, just the standard way. You take the eraser out. And I'm pretty sure you can get refills for this eraser too, though um, I only use these erasers sometimes. Also, I one of these pencils has this thing, yeah, this one, 
where this this shield here, this metal shield that, that keeps the lead from breaking, on this pencil it will retract so that you pretty much have always the same amount of lead showing. So as you work with the lead, that'll come out so you can write with it for longer. Pretty cool. I love these. Highly recommend them. Then we have these two. So this is the Uni Style Fit. This is a four changer -y thing uh, pencil. This, we'll, we'll look at this first, okay. So this holds four different lens. Why would you want that? Well, you could have different hardnesses of graphite in each one, so you could get lighter or darker lines, depending. The reason I do is I actually have uh, in this one and in this one, I have regular graphite. In this one, I have pink. And in this one, directly opposite it, I have blue. These are... I'm using these a lot when tracing out my sewing patterns. So I'm using this pink, and this is just like something I made up for me. I'm using this pink for all the dotted lines. In the sewing pattern I'm working on, I'm using the blue for the line that you would sew on and the regular graphite for the line that you would cut the fabric on. Um, so this is pretty helpful for me. I really like this a lot. Um, the way it works, you choose which one you want to extend the lead you tap the top of it just like you would any pencil and in, and to pull this back up you can um pull on this again or what I usually do is just tap one of the other ones so then that retracts it then we have this the high-tech coletto um this might say three I can't tell. The cool thing about this is this is kind of a like build it yourself changeable writing implement. So I have put three different pencil inserts in here, but you're not limited to pencil. You could put pen in here too. So if you wanted, if you're not like, all about the fountain pens all the time, you could put some of these to be pens. So you could have like two different colors of pen and a pencil. Um, I think that's pretty dope. So, but I, what I have in here is three different point fives. I have these set up much the same way. So the way these work though, since it's not guaranteed, guaranteed to be pencil, you push it down to to push out the thing. And then in order to uh, push out the graphite, you push on this thing. This is not like 100% foolproof, okay? Of course not. But it's still like one of the dopest things ever. Just like, it's so cool. So this one has red, graphite, and blue. Um, I, again, I think this is really dope. I, I like having it a lot because this is good for tracing. What I've found myself doing today though, and now I'm like rethinking because what I might do is add this other pencil, is I'm tracing in regular graphite with this pencil or the blue one, I don't remember, it doesn't matter. And then I'm using this to just switch between pink and blue. So that, that way I'm picking up one writing implement. Now we can get on to the colored Leads. So these are the colors I'm, I have. They're by Uni Uni. And a good thing about them is these are erasable. A bad thing about them is they break really, really easily. Really easily. It's really frustrating. I don't think I push very hard. It doesn't matter. They break. Eh, whatever. They're relatively cheap. It's fine. 
I'll deal with it so that I can have these different colors of, e this is important, erasable color because a lot of pencil, colored pencil is not erasable. And speaking of erasable, you need erasers for that. So I have a few. I really love this one. It's a plastic eraser by Stittler. I like that it kind of like goes with my favorite um, two millimeter clutch pencil uh, or lead holder. It erases well. A++. Love it. I also have this one. I'm pretty sure I got it at Muji, which would mean it was pretty inexpensive. I can't tell you for sure where I got it, but it also erases. A++. And I think it's also a plastic eraser. The things I use more than anything else are probably these two. Because they're fun. Um, I bought this, to my best recollection, I bought this in... 1996 or 97. I love the color of it. It's sort of like a metallic-y blue and it's such a good blue. It's a blue blue and not a teal blue. So this is kind of like the color of Sailor Michigan if you know that ink. Uh, if Or uh, I think Robert Oster Soda Pop Blue. I love it so much. And uh, I have it in black because for a while I lost this. Well, I misplaced it. And I like these because you can hold in this where it says push. And that'll keep it in so you can do sort of more precise erasing. I don't have any of their, their – there are erasers like this that are even more precise. That are smaller like this. If you want, are interested in that sort of thing, the Jet Pins YouTube channel had a whole video about um, maybe it was just over-engineered erasers in general. I loved it. it I, I'm going to be honest. I really like Jet Pins YouTube. Uh, and I love the people that work there, apparently. They just did, Connie just did her, her, her fountain pen favorites. And I was just like, Wow, it turns out I love Connie. Who knew? So anyway, hopefully this video has accomplished something. At the very least, it got this off my chest of wanting slash having to make this video. So I hope you've en enjoyed a look into <laughs> the non-fountain pen, pencil-y writing implements that I use most often slash all of them that I have. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!